You know, your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. <laughs> I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. <laughs> Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over, like, hey, you know, I thought it was a good idea. You, know? yeah. you have to know that. Dude, your if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> Everybody, go in standing up. You got it, you got it. Oh shit, here she comes. <sighs> What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a mystical five, Minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys we're back here with a new video guys, me and my beautiful guest. It's a makeover. My name is Devin. Welcome to the Perseverance. Today we're going to be rising to Billboard Epidemic of Gold Digger. Okay. Gold Digging Holes. Okay. okay. Epidemics of Gold Digging Holes. This is going to be our first time checking this out. I want to give this a try with you guys. You know how I do it guys. We'll talk less very when you ask more. Let's get into this video. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would, why wouldn't, as a, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe, look at the shit he's going through right now. All right? Guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get 70 million bucks. Hmm. Never hit a layup in her life. <laughs> you know, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter worth a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Somebody, go ahead, somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it, what, what, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck, he cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension, right? Get that 10 years in? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and every night I put on the news it? and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. How many? How many more great men are gonna get chopped in half before we do something? It's getting out Why of Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it, is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back, that, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Yeah, uh, they are, what do you except think? we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end, so it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets. <laughs> that is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. I gotta tell you, it's just, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. <laughs> you know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. <laughs> Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. People thought it was hilarious. Were, hey, hey, Stumpy, nobody cares. You think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? <laughs> the entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. But that's true. No, that's true. That's how it's supposed to be. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. <laughs> another great man. 
taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. <laughs> And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, right there. That's who is now? Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top, he's still rocking. <laughs> the giant space between his teeth, I could put this mic cord through. What do you think? Maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up, hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> it's gotta be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> That dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that, should be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> he lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maria Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. <laughs> Cherry on top, I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Wow. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Four yes, he decades. Has a point. He has a point. Nothing but net. Yes. Bang a maid in my own bed, dude. That's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> right? <laughs> And then what How happens? The smoke clears. This kind of joke. And all these trolls time. come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls, coming on TV. Absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded. <laughs> <shrouded. laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer <laughs> parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really, you're beating them off? <laughs> this guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because <laughs> he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. All right? <laughs> How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on time, the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book the third trimester and what to expect. 
<laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel the pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? <laughs> it's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it, because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> <laughs> The second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that, do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just, guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. and be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. <laughs> no, it's unreal. Okay. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> Watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward, right? <laughs> all this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. It's making a point right there. Yeah, you it's know why? Because your, dick, your dick's like a dreamer, you know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. <laughs> I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. <laughs> Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you have to know that. Dude, your if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, too. Thank I you, thank you. Thank you. Good a time as I did. Thank you. It's good. Damn, damn, damn. View, bro. This guy's a legend. This guy's a legend. This is really good. It's really good. It's really, really good. Bebo, this is really amazing. Like, it's literally funny. And it's, and just seeing the truth. Like, if you think about it, like, there is no book out there that tells you how to control yourself. Like, sexual, because guys, <clears throat> most of when people are aroused, like, straight, do it, do it. Before, you start thinking about, no, 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 there are precautions, there are precautions, but do it, do it. Do it. Like his joke is literally really, really funny. And I love guys can relate to it. So it's like, why is like why is the woman making books of all guys are pigs? Whereas you don't know anything that's what's about guys. Like it's like you said, um at the trimester, I've been a pregnant, like I'll tell you, how oh, this is how it's be. Do you have stomach like that? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you you know absolutely nothing about it. How it feels like. So I actually get him, like it's really very funny. Like every moment of it was hilarious. Like I understand him. I was caught up in it. It was entertaining, guys. Bilbo got me laughing every time. Like he's literally speaking everyone's mind. Like once he targets his audience, he knows what he wants and he speaks the mind of how it's supposed to be and how it is. It's something you can relate to. You can mostly relate to his joke and that itself is a very, very good comedian. It's he's an entertainer. Like it's really, really good. I was in, I was laughing throughout. Like I was laughing. I could not control myself. It's it was really funny, guys. Bilbo. He's good. He's good. He's one of my best comedians in the entire world. Like, if you want to laugh, just turn on <laughs> turn on the show, guys. You laugh the entire day. It's this itself is really funny. This is my first time watching this. I was really amazed by it. What do you think? 
Uh, at a point, it was funny, but there was some part that was. Mm. Yeah. yeah <laughs> About the um, splitting of the the divorce stuff. Oh, the divorce stuff. No, no, no. I feel the controlling stuff. Like, oh, it's not like I can control it. Definitely, it's not like he can control it. But it does not work for just one gender. You get because he said that um, men were made to be doing it with at least eighty percent of the women in the world. Like. How come one man be made to be doing like it's based out of the women? But I kind of get it's a joke. But it was funny. I love the part where he talked about when they when he gets caught, like when you get caught doing it and it leaves you out there, like it does not even care. Like I'm the one, I've got my own part, so you face your boy. <laughs> like I get that, but that is very funny. Uh, sometimes our um desires, our selfish desires, um uh, it pushes us to do things that um, cause a lot of consequences in our life. And when we are done doing that, that feeling, that desire, it's all gone. And we're like, how did I sacrifice the best part of my life for just five minutes of pleasure, for just 10 minutes of happiness? And that's when we realize that, oh, we made a mistake. And two, we also need discipline to to be able to move forward in everything we do. But this was a very, 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 very funny joke. And I love the fact where he used, um, that human aspect, like how can you be explaining about a man's body when you're not in it, you're not feeling it with them? Because if a man is to write an article about how me women menstruate, like they are going to eat him up. Like <laughs> they're literally going to eat the head out of him. Or if it's to write an article about um breastfeeding mothers, not even think about it. So I kind of get him bashing her too, because you don't understand it. As long as you can feel it, you don't understand it. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't know, papers passing 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, just in my bed. I got scales all